Kilauubin, which means Granite Island in Malay, is about a 15 minute boat ride from mainland Singapore. And for two people and a bike, it cost $10 each way. Bargain. So this stunning emerald island of Pulau Ubin is 1,020 hectare and has about 38 residents who still live in the traditional kampong houses. Whilst I checked out the map and planned our route for today, Dottie and my camera shy partner went off to hire a bike because obviously Dottie needs a basket. Dottie had found her perfect basket on a $15 hired bike, which was an absolute bargain. We were ready to go. It's actually a really comfortable ride on the Brompton. There are some trail paths in Pulau Ubin, which obviously the Brompton probably couldn't manage, but um, the rest of it is pretty tarmac and uh, pretty smooth so it's really nice to be cycling on the island with my Brompton for the first time. So we haven't seen any wild boars yet have we Duffy? We've been keeping our eye out and we're about now to head to Ubin Quarry. There are 11 shrines and nine temples on Pura Ubin, and I do believe that we will see some of them on the way to Ubin Quarry. So let's go. Can you see any wild boars yet? No? Keep an eye out. And it seems the more you ask a dog where the boars are, the more the boars appear. a bit exciting. Two adult boars and uh, their offspring and lots of monkeys all um, staring at me and then Dottie in her basket so um, luckily we've escaped unharmed and uh, we're heading back off to the uh, the quarry so <laughs> whoo close shave. And keeping on the wildlife theme the great thing is in Pula Ubin no matter what route you take you are guaranteed to discover so much beautiful wildlife and interesting species. So, a bit of a termite hill, some bitey ants, even the crabs come out and say hello. Monitor lizards, very strange looking little creature called a mud skipper. On our way to Kwaka Hill, we stumbled across the largest temple in Pulau Ubin. It first became a public temple in the 1950s and is predominantly a Buddhist temple. But inside the temple, there are also shrines to both Hindu gods and Chinese Buddhas. After a little bit of wildlife spotting and temple visiting, we finally reach Puaka Hill. Now, Ubin Quarry requires a small hike and you can't take bikes up, unfortunately. It's time to stretch those legs, get off the bike and enjoy a hike.
after a short hike up Puaka Hill, I have reached the top, the highest point in Pulau Ubin, 60 meters in elevation. And in the distance, you can see Malaysia, as well as Singapore. If I head back down now. as well as hiking and cycling, you can also kayak. That is definitely on my to-do list. The Peaky Blinders. Now, in my six years of living in Singapore, I've never seen a hornbill and nobody can believe it. But today, I didn't just see one, I saw three. It's been great fun and uh, just stopped because Stop. that over there is a heron nesting site on the floating wetlands. So we're just about to uh, head off to the public jetty and uh, before that, hopefully, we can grab a coconut. <laughs> so, just made it. Whew, the last boat out of here is at seven o'clock and it's half six and uh, managed to get myself a fresh coconut. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So, finish the coconut and uh, head on to the boat. We've had a fantastic time. Dottie's absolutely shattered. And uh, next time, when the campsites open on Pulau Ubin, after the restrictions have lifted. I plan to come and uh, spend the night on Pulau Ubin and explore the rest of the island because there's still so much more that we could have explored. But for now, we're going to head off to Island Breweries at Changi Point. Island Brewery and um, my first ever fresh macadamia nut. Mmm, vanilla, salt, just what's needed after a long bike ride, eh, Dots? So we're just waiting for our food. Um, it's really nice here. It's very busy, it's a great atmosphere. It's a microbrewery. Narrowly, you used to be able to help yourself at the, uh, the taps, but um, obviously, COVID times, uh, that's not happening. But um, it's a lovely way to end a great day out at Pulau Ubin. So we're back on mainland Singapore and I'm starving. Food is absolutely delicious. And I don't think I've ever had pineapple salsa before, but that is a winner. A beautiful island, a boat, a Brompton, a dog, and a bar. It's amazing what you can fit into a day. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one.